So in order to multiply 26 by 43 using uh, what I'm calling the Ethiopian algorithm, uh, that's just what I've heard it called. I, don't, I can't uh, verify that personally. But um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 26 down here and then 43. And I'm going to make a list. I'm going to start with 1. And I'm going to start, I'm going to double that. And I'm going to keep doubling that until I get to a number that is bigger than the, uh, the, this first factor. And so uh, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, now I'm bigger than 26. So I stop there. I don't need that one because it's bigger. And now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to um, rewrite 26 as a sum of numbers from this list. So um, I take the biggest one uh, that's underneath the 26, which is 16. When I um, have a 16, well, that's uh, when I take that out of 26, I have 10 left over. So I've used that up. Uh, can I put an 8 inside a 10? Sure, I can. Uh, so I'll have an 8. We'll use that. And then when I take 8 out of 10, I have 2 left over. So I don't use a 4 because 4 is bigger than 2. And But I do use the 2. And when I take the 2 out, I have 0. So I'm done. So I don't need the 1. Um, so and if you go back and re-add these, 8 plus 2 plus 16 is certainly 26. Um, and now on the 43 end, I'm not going to... Uh, rewrite it as a sum, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to double 43 as many times as I needed uh, numbers up here. These are called the powers of 2 because it's 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2 power, 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 to the 3rd is 8, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 2 multiplied by itself 4 times is 16. So these are the powers of 2. So I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to double 43 making a list um, where I use I double it as many times as I needed powers of 2. So I go 1, 2, 4, 8, and I'm going to need to go all the way up to 16. So the double of 43 is 86. The double of 86 is going to be 172. The double of 172 is going to be 344. And the double of 344 is going to be 688. And then I look at which powers of 2 did I use in the sum for 26. Well, I use 16, 8, and 2. So I'm going to use 16, 8, and 2. 16, 8, and 2. Those are the numbers I'm going to add up. So uh, I get 688 plus 344 plus 86. And you can add these up any way you like. You can use a traditional algorithm, um, and that will work fine. 12, 13, and 8 is 21. 2 and 6 and 3 is 11. So we get 1,000. 118 as the final product. All right, we'll do one more example. So I did some of the setup. The, the problem, actually, the example I want to try to, to solve is 77 times 132. I listed off the powers of 2 until I got ahead of uh, 77. I'm not going to need the 128, so I'm going to cross that out. Uh, and then I am going to use the 64. If I take 64 out of 77, I have 13 left. Uh, so I'm not going to use the 32, I'm not going to use the 16, but I am going to use the 8. Then when I take the 8 out of the 13, I'm going to be left with 5. And so uh, I'm going to take a 4 out of that, and I'm going to be left with 1. So I don't need the 2, but I do need the 1. So I'm going to have 64 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 gives me 77. So now again, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, set up how many doubles I need. So I set up the list 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, because 64 is the biggest power of 2 I used. And now I just go ahead and double it. So I get 264. When I double that, I get 528. When I double that, I'm going to get 1056. When I double that, I'm going to get 2112. When I double that, I'm going to get 4224. And when I double that, I'm going to get 8448. Uh, which ones am I going to use? I'm going to use 64, 8, 4, and 1. So I'll kill the 2, 16, and the 32. So the ones I need are 84, 48. This is 16. The 8 is a 10, 56. And the 4 is a 5, 28. And then I need a 1, which is 1, 32. Add all those up. 8 and 6 is 14, 22. 24, carry the 2, and so on, and I end up with 10,164 as my final answer.